routine activity. Let's get some of the details about Oconto County now. Coronavirus cases continue to rise, and that's not a good sign going into a holiday weekend. Local 5's Aaron Taylor with a message from the Public Health Department to all of us. We need everyone to work together to make this change. Okano County's health officers speaking out, asking for cooperation. We've not had a pandemic worldwide for 100 years, and anything that can be done um, that can help slow that transmission. The call comes as coronavirus cases continue to rise. Within the state, we were within the top five counties with the highest number per 100,000 cases. That's significant for us being a rural county. She says the current political climate has become a factor in the county's response to the pandemic. It's been a challenge. It is their right to have their opinions. However, this is a public health issue. She's asking for people to avoid the large gatherings that are traditionally held over Labor Day weekend. The more people that are together and are closer than six feet between them, there's a higher risk of transmission. Smaller events, Deborah says, are the way to go this Labor Day weekend. With smaller events, you have the opportunity to stay further away, to keep that six foot distancing, wear your mask. In Ocano County, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. And it is worth repeating to avoid large gatherings, keeping that social distance from folks who are outside of your household. Ocanto Public Health has gone as far as to emphasize on its web page the importance of respect and dignity. Turning out a new development.